light shining That means it's time again for morning Is it with red? Good morning to you It's my favorite time of the day I just love that we get to be together Me and you this way Good morning Good morning, I hope you're well today I hope you're feeling really good about yourself. I hope that place inside of you where you hold all those good feelings and thoughts about yourself is just overflowing. That bucket is overflowing. Yeah. That's what bucket filling's about. We want everybody to have a full bucket like this one, right? And if somebody has a bucket that's not very full, let's fill it up. Let's find some kind things to say. Let's let them know that we see them. We want them to be part of things. Yeah. Let them know they're special and wonderful. That's bucket filling. That's the first rule of bucket filling is fill others' buckets with kind words. Help somebody, you know? Comfort someone when they're having trouble. Bucket filling. The second rule of bucket filling is don't dip. You know what dipping is? If somebody is feeling really good about themselves and they have a full bucket and somebody else comes along and says, I want some of that happiness. And they grab and take out some of what's in that person's bucket, maybe by saying something mean or by, you know, pushing them or making them feel like they don't count. That's dipping. Don't dip. We don't want to do that. It hurts people. But we all dip from time to time. Why do we dip? Well, I'll tell you why I dip sometimes. Because I'm tired. I might be tired. Maybe I'm not getting enough sleep. Or, or maybe, this happens to me sometimes, if I miss lunch, I forget to eat lunch, and I'm really hungry, I can get ornery. So I need to eat. Sometimes somebody else dips into our bucket and it makes us angry and the next person that comes along, we dip into theirs. That's kind of a common thing. We're going to look at that tomorrow. What you can do when somebody's coming at you to dip. Or when we're lonely. Feels like nobody cares. That's hard. You know what the answer to that one is? Find a way to help someone. Anybody. Be kind to someone else. That will always take away loneliness. Yeah, it's hard to do sometimes, but it really helps. I have a song about dipping. Dipping into others buckets Robs their happiness You know we never get to keep it It only means there's less Less to brighten faces with Less to make us sing Dipping always takes Some of the light Out of everything So when Question why find out what's missing and try to start fixing it inside. Yeah. So if you're sleepy, go take a nap. If you're hungry, get a snack. If you're lonely, go do something kind for someone else. Someone just dipped you. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. But when you're getting ready to dip, when you feel like dipping, ask the question why? Find out what's missing. Try to start fixing it inside. We can get better 
heard that. I don't know about you, but I feel it coming on when I'm not going to be nice to someone. I can feel it building inside of me. And, and I'm getting better at stopping and saying, you know what, I don't want to go there. I never feel good when I'm unkind to someone. I hate the way I feel after that. You can catch yourself. You can learn to catch yourself. So sometimes you feel it coming on and you don't catch yourself. It happens. But then you can apologize. But the really good thing is when you feel it coming on, you stop. You catch yourself. You can do that. So Friday, I sang a song about I love cheese and jelly. I know it's kind of weird. I can't remember when the cheese and jelly sandwich first appeared, right? I was crazy about cheese and jelly sandwiches in elementary school. Some of you wrote in about what you're crazy about. So Madeline wrote, she is crazy about strawberries with whipped cream and pizza. I think she means separately, but maybe together. That would be cool. Emily is a little girl. She said, I like noodle. I like noodle too. Betty, when she ate in cafeteria when she was younger, she ate pimento cheese sandwiches and BLTs. You know what a BLT is? Each letter stands for something. B stands for bacon, L stands for lettuce, and T stands for tomato. Bacon, lettuce, and tomato, BLTs. Okay. Claire says she isn't sure about cheese and jelly together. Her favorite is homemade applesauce, Pasties. You know what a pasty is? It's just like a little pastry that has a pocket inside where they put meat like beef and onion and turnip and potato. Yeah, it's good. Pasties are good. And she loves mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. Claudia says her go-to favorite thing is beans and rice. She'll eat that a lot. Uh, and Jolene says, instead of cheese and jelly, like I normally did with American cheese and, and grape jelly, she said I should try brie cheese, which is like this soft cheese. If you ever had brie, it's soft. Uh, and fig jam. That sounds good. Oh, and Bren. She says when she was little, she loved fish head soup. Couldn't get enough of fish head soup. And now she says she'll try anything at least once. I'm for that. Okay, so as you go through your day today, if you start feeling like you're getting ready to dip, maybe grab a toy out of somebody's hand or say something that isn't very nice to someone or push somebody or something like that, see if you can catch yourself and say, why? Why was I going to do that? You might be upset with somebody, but why would you be really mean? It's one thing to you know, have something to work out with someone. It's another to be mean. Yeah. See if you can stop yourself. And tomorrow we'll talk about what you can do when somebody is coming to be mean with you. Okay. You have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.